Well, hello YouTube, it is RL coming to you from my channel. Once again, I am here to talk about a new topic today. I want to talk about the Creed 3. So they pronounced pretty much it'll be a, a Creed 3. The sequel to Creed came out over a year ago. As you know, on my channel, I talked about all the Rocky movies. I ranked them and I ranked Creed 2 as the second worst of the, the Rocky movies. And the reason I ranked it so low was because I really felt that they missed the boat on a few things. And I would have liked to have seen Drago show a little bit of remorse to killing Apollo Creed by the end of the movie. And having a little bit more of an arc. And, and showing some recognition that he did something wrong there. But that's not where they went. And that's fine. That's the choice they made. And there's a deleted scene in that movie that I really felt should have made the cut. I really liked it. I thought it was a really nice scene with after the fight, the final fight, where uh, Drago's son loses to. Adonis Creed and there's a little bit of a moment where they don't talk but they have a moment together in the locker room and the father Dargo sees it and it, it was nice to see it was almost like there was some kind of redemption there was a forgiveness the anger was gone and it wasn't a hateful thing anymore it was like I respect you you're a boxer you know we could be friends maybe now I'm not saying that's where they're gonna go but what I want to see in Creed 3 I want to see Drago return and have more of an arc and I would love Love to see Drago train Adonis Creed because now that Rocky is pretty much done in the Creed universe, Rocky's had his arc. I don't think he's going to show up in any more Creed movies. Maybe he'll have a cameo, but if you're not going to have Rocky in this uh, franchise anymore, then at least bring a, a legendary character to come into this franchise and to have some kind of growth. And I think it would be amazing to see Drago stay in the franchise and just be there. And wouldn't it be ironic for someone who killed his father he would obviously have this hate for this man but wouldn't it be amazing to see Creed 3 develop a relationship between Drago and Adonis Creed I know it seems unlikely but I would love to see that it would be such an interesting turn of events and then we could have some moments with Drago talks to Creed and even ask for forgiveness for killing Apollo I just think that would be such an amazing arc for the character and it would be really nice to see character from the Rocky franchise, such a iconic villain to be used in a way that would be almost ironic for this character to be a good guy now. And it could be something interesting to explore. I like to see it. I don't know if anyone else would like to see it, but I think it'd be a great idea. So that's one of my thoughts on where to take the movie franchise with the character. I would love to see that a dynamic there. It'd be very interesting to see, you know, this is the person who killed his father. What a complex character arc that would be between the two characters of Adonis accepting, you know, this person who killed his father, forgiveness in this character, and moving past the anger and the, you know, accepting that his father now is, you know, his dad, he never met his father, but maybe through Drago, he could learn a little bit about his father, even though Drago didn't really know his father, he just killed him, but so I really think that would be a great way to go in in, the, in Creed 3 to see that kind of an arc going there and not just, uh, you know, having each movie as a one-off and then not have any, you know, continuation throughout the franchise. I think that would be amazing to see Drago in Creed 3 continue his arc. And it would make Creed 2 so much better. If that happened, I would rank Creed 2 even higher on the list because at least I know that's not where the character is going to remain. He's not going to stay this way. He's going to have growth because I really, really love Drago as a character. He is the best villain in the franchise. So I really would love to see them use that character more and have a better story for him and not just be this, you know, this character that killed a Apollo Creed. Anyways, moving on, I want to talk a little more about Creed 3 because this is a prediction video. I want to say what I'd like to see. And a lot of people are talking about bringing back Mr. T. You know, that would be nice to see. But I mean, of course, Mr. T was in the third Rocky movie. So you don't really want to have too many parallels to Rocky and Creed. They're their own separate entity. Creed is a separate franchise now. Obviously, it's in the Rocky uh, universe. So maybe it'll be fun to bring back Mr. T and it may be his son to fight Creed, uh, Donna's Creed in the third Creed movie. But if they do that, it has to have a twist. It has to have some kind of interesting development in these characters and growth. Because if it's just having the son of Mr. T come back, then really it's just another 
another movie that's going to be very much like Creed 2 with another villain coming in from the Rocky franchise and his son wanting to fight Adonis, which would be very repetitive and not really interesting because I know the fights are going to be well choreographed. There was nothing wrong with the fights in Creed 2. It's just the energy wasn't as good as in Creed 1. So I want to see something different. If they don't do something different and unique, then what's the point of making a... Because all they're going to do is be older and maybe just angrier. If that's the case with Mr. T's character, and he's just another Mr. T 2.0, then it's going to be boring. It's not going to be interesting. So bring back those characters. I have nothing bad to say if they did it. I would love to see Mr. T's son or Mr. T also in there and have an arc there. And But again, if you're going to bring Mr. T, I'd like to see Mr. T, you know, be a different character a little bit. Same character, but some growth and say, you know, I was a jerk back then. I'm sorry I contributed to killing Mickey or something if he speaks to Rocky. I want to see that. I like to see these characters have some kind of redemption, but I think it's more interesting and not just have the same character on the screen, but just 30 years older because then that's just boring to me. So that's my take of uh, predicting Creed 3, what's going to happen, and I hope you liked it. Leave me a comment below, like, subscribe. I have many new topics to talk about in the future, not just the same things over and over again. I will be doing more movie rankings, more predictions, talking about my Habs, talking more about Star Wars, and talking about other franchises that I have interest in, video games, retro video games, reviews on movies with my friend CK, also be talking about value village and things that i find there with a friend of mine that you'll be meeting soon so lots of new exciting things will be happening on my channel looking forward to that i will have many more videos in the weeks months and years to come thank you and bye for now